This looks like a good spot to set up camp. Yeah, Dad, let's go. And no auto ignition. And that's what I like about it. No auto ignition to burn out. It's almost time for dinner, John. What are we having? Uh, I'm actually going to combine uh, a lentil bean soup with a can of meat chili. And we're going to um, heat that up and put that on top of uh, flour tortillas. That sounds really good. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. This is a Magellan cook stove. It's the first time for us to use it. It came from Academy and it is really neat. What I like about it is that it's like the old time cook stoves. It's really simple. It's easy to use. So we just screw it on? Just screw it on. And no auto ignition. And that's what I like about it. No auto ignition to burn out, to wear out. It always works. It's simple. You can see all the parts. It's easy to clean. And a lot less expensive. Only available at Academy. In the stores, you don't see it online either. Okay, lentils and chili. We put that all in the pot and cook it and then eat that with uh, tortillas. Let's go for it. I'm hungry, dude. I'm hungry too. Bon appetit. Sure is good. I wish you could have some. This looks good, Jonathan. What are you making? I'm making baked apples uh, I, from my baked apple kit, which has just a couple pieces of foil um, all wrapped up flat. Uh, it's a heavy foil, so it can go on fire. And then a mixture here of um, brown sugar, uh, raisins, cranberries, chopped up dates, and some nutmeg, and a little bit of cinnamon. And what we're going to do is, after you core out the apples and leave the bottoms in, intact so that the filling stays in, we're just going to take this and fill it up. And we keep, keep on filling it up all the way until it looks like this. And then once you're done, we'll just wrap it all up in the foil. And then put it in the fire? And then put it directly into the fire for about 20, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. I'm getting hungry, Jonathan. Me too. So we have a nice open bed of hot coals here for cooking these apples. And on the bottom of the apples, there's a triple layer of foil to keep the heat from burning right through this heavy foil. Or put them where the tops are up so nothing spills out. Put that right in the foil, put right in the coals, very hot, make sure you wear your gloves. And then we'll just wait in that about 20, 30 minutes. It didn't burn nice. at all. Look at that. Nice baked apple. Look at all that. Mmm, that's so good. Oh, man. Look at the fruit in it. Cranberries, raisins, and chopped up dates. Man. With nutmeg, cinnamon, and a whole bunch of brown sugar. Mmm. Good? Awesome. It really is good. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Mmm.
trying to get the sack. In the escape bivy on the uh, sleeping bag. It's really comfortable. Believe it or not, I'm comfortable. How are you doing, John? I feel like a sardine, but this is really good. I'm comfortable and warm. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sweet dreams. Good night. Good morning, guys. I slept really well in here. I was comfy. I like this little tent. And I don't think it got very cold. I, uh, it was probably down into the mid 50s. But it's perfect. No condensation. I'm nice and warm. I have a, a little uh, wool scarf. Yeah, that little wool hat that I'm wearing. I just slept in the sole escape bivy on top of my sleeping bag. So you can see, this is what the tent looks like on the inside. I have enough space. There's a lot of space between the bug screen and the rain fly. And so even though I'm, uh, I'm six foot two, I fit in here very well. I do touch the bug screen, but because there's space between the bug screen and the rain fly, it doesn't touch, touch the rain fly. And so if there were conversation, condensation on the rain fly, it wouldn't bother me. You can get out here through the back door. Oh yeah, I'm touching the rain fly now and it's just a little bit of condensation, but nothing that's coming through. And I could store stuff on the, the back door side. I want to store things in here. A little basketball. And this is, this is the front door. It opens easily with one hand. I've got my boots right there. I should have put them upside down so no bugs will get in them, but I didn't last night. Let's see. The outer screen and there we are hey good morning John good morning. how'd you sleep like a sardine like a sardine I slept really well in here I was amazed I you know I it's it's well after uh, sunrise and I didn't wake up at all Man, it's so nice out here. It's quiet, it's beautiful. Well, how was the tent, John? Cozy. Uh, I'm pretty tall, so I mean, I barely fit in it, but I did get my shoes in at the very bottom. I was able to put my feet on top of my shoes. The only issue I really had was it does collect a lot of condensation on the inside of the tent. Um, and mm. even after a couple hours now, for, after breakfast and having coffee, and it's still pretty wet. So I think what I'm going to do is, and the outside is really dry, I'm just going to flip open one side of it to get extra airflow inside. Because you can see how much I mean, that is soaking mm. wet. Now, now, none of that got you wet. Because, it, because the bug net was far away from the ring. Right, this, this nice ring on the outside kept it at a distance. Yeah, so, so you stayed dry, yet the rain fly did collect condensation. Yeah. So we'll, we're going to leave this for a few hours, and then when we come back, it should be right. dry before so we So after we have our, our short hike and drive, then we can um, bring our, our nice dry tents home. Now, Jonathan, you're what six foot four? Six five. Six five, and so you were able to fit into this little tent 
You're six five. Barely. You you fit in it. Barely. And you had your boots inside at the bottom of this tent. Laying flat at the bottom of the tent so I could put my feet on top of them. With with the bottoms of my boots towards the outside, which is the would be the wet side. Okay. The damp side. So it really worked. This little tent works well. Good little backpacking tent. And look at this. Everything fits into this small right. bag. Yeah, everything goes in a small bag. And it's got straps for everything to tie up to, depending on how you want to configure it. So I just I just put this on the inside so I don't lose my bag. This is my tent. I've lifted the rain fly up, and you can see there's a little bit of condensation, not quite as much as Jonathan's. I'm going to leave it open, and that way it'll dry off when we go hiking. Well, let's go uh, go hiking around, and then we'll come back later this afternoon and... See how the tents are. Yeah, see how dried the tents are. Okay, let's go. Now this is dirt time. You got to have lunch sitting on the dirt with plenty of dirt. So here we are spending a pleasant afternoon stuck in the mud. This is what you call real dirt time. I think I could uh, jack up the back of the car and get out, but Jonathan has AAA insurance and so we called the tow trucker and towing is, is free. So uh, anyway, the tow truck got stuck and they have to winch that truck out of the mud and so they're sending a second tow truck. We will see when we get out of here. There's always a surprise. Well, we just got back from a day of dirt time. Yeah, and we definitely got covered in a lot of dirt. <laughs> Any, anyway, look, <laughs> everything's dry. Yeah, the rain look at flies that. dry. Completely dry. And look at this, John. I slept last night instead of in the sleeping bag in this sole escape bivy, and it kept me warm because it has a reflective surface on the inside, uh -huh. and it only weighs a few ounces. And when I fold it up, it'll fit into this little sack. Just like the tent will fit into that tiny round little sack. Yep. Well, shall we show how you do this through the magic of uh, YouTube or video? Sure. Or, or you can just see me stuff this. Look at this. No, my house, my I think we're just going to go like this. <laughs>